Hi and welcome to South African Homesteader. My name is Halia and today I am going to take you on a tour of my small little garden. So this bed here, this bed got washed out by the rain. Nasturtiums. Then I have a paprika plant there and an orange habanero there. The other, mostly what is still now left in here is shame, it's a bit washed out. Is my other marigolds. Then here I have this is Cape Gooseberry in there as well as in here and in these are various chili plants green pepper green bell pepper etc this one also is california green bell pepper that is my peach tree which we harvested some peaches from this this is a volunteer i don't know if it's a squash or a butternut or what that is at the back there that's a sunflower that's some more bell peppers I think this is a chili plant and it looked the ones that I picked it looked like um, I wasn't sure what it was but it looked like a jalapeno this is a tomato plant my tomato plants did not do too well because it was a bit too hot so that was the tomato plant and then I have some more nasturtiums there and then these are zinnias um, a few marigolds also I just sprinkled it there for colour then we have another this is a Santorini red pepper plant and we have some peppers on here quite a few actually um, so this is a Santorini red pepper this is my passion fruit This is my Eureka lemon tree, still in the pots. And then here we have some cabbage, little cabbages. I don't know if something's eating them. These are the cabbages. And then I have a Bishop's Crown pepper plant, nasturtiums, more cabbage, cabbage. And this is a jalapeno. This is also nasturtium. This is um, Nicopal cauliflower. This is a zinnia seed that I just threw in here. Also, a few seeds. Um, that's also um, cauliflower. This is a paprika plant. And then some nasturtiums coming out there. And then that is a purple broccoli. And this is a purple broccoli as well. That looks to be zinnias and that is nasturtiums then this is my lemon balm it's going a bit off now I'm hoping to revive it that is a chili plant this is my mango seed my mango plant it's got some beautiful roots I actually transplanted it but it's just taking forever for the actual I don't know if it's going to come up or if it's going to die. I don't know. And in the year, I have various peppers. Some of it is habaneros. Some of it is cherry bomb. This is cherry bomb. Um, all various green peppers um, and green peppers and chili plants. This is an eggplant. It wasn't doing too well on the other side. So I don't think it was getting enough sun. So I moved it to this side. And then these are my black mulberry plants. This is okra. Not doing too great. It looks like it's got some moldy on the leaves. I don't know if that's going to do well at all. This is fennel. I have two of these fennel plants. But this is the one. Then in here, 
I have some more. That's green broccoli. Green broccoli. This is nasturtiums. Green broccoli there as well. This is a zinnia. And then this is also broccoli, but this is purple broccoli. This is the purple broccoli. Then this is chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. And then these are Brussels sprouts. These are the Brussels sprouts. This year, some more zinnias, some more chrysanthemums, more zinnias. That is a pepper plant, it's a jalapeno pepper plant. Then that is a butter crunch lettuce over there. That was um, seeds that I saved from my last um, crop. And then this is just your normal head lettuce here. This also is the red lettuce that I saved from my last crop. So these are growing nicely. Some nasturtiums I have here. And then this is actually a baby eggplant. And then that is just a... I can't remember what that is. I think it's a zinnia. So this eggplant I don't think is going to survive. I think it's a bit getting... Either it was too hot and now it's too cold. This is a purple cherry tomato that's a zinnia coming out here lettuce some more lettuce some butter crunch lettuce and then some zinnias coming out here and then these are just some oxhart tomato seeds that I sprinkled here oh, about last week sometime because my tomato plants just didn't do well in the sun at all they were totally scorched up and shriveled up um, and remember it was over hundred and odd I have a few left but not much but the people plants are thriving and then also more nasturtiums and then some kale kale is also not doing too good um, and then we have our basil over there um, and then this is fennel here as well and then this is cothars she actually planted a cherry seed which I didn't think would come up but it seems like there's something happening here. She has some flowers, some zinnias and then some jalapeno peppers. Um, so that's that. And then we have a mint plant over here. This is a mint plant. And then we have... We have... Uh, Abdrahman's <laughs> little flowers there and his two people plants and this is Mudafirs then we have some more chili plants here and I remember we harvested about I think it was more than 60 um, chilies last week so we did all the chili harvest this is some nasturtiums nasturtiums the idea behind all the nasturtiums is for them to just trail over the edges and then some zinnias in fact this this bed had mostly tomatoes but like i said my tomatoes just really didn't survive that heat that extreme heat even though i did cover it but we had a heat wave here these are tomato plant that survived um, I'll do the tomatoes again, but not now. The season really isn't right. These are two tomatillo plants. You need to have more than one. I actually had three in here, and I see the one has also just disappeared. And then that is a zinnia and more nasturtiums. So, I'm just curious to see what is going to be growing now. Um, and what type of a harvest we're going to have for autumn. And, um... I have some marjoram and top tea also growing down. Um, so let's go over to the other side and then we will see what we have there. So here we have mostly ornamentals. Here you can see it's a little tomato plant that is surviving barely. Um, 
and then we still have some Swiss chard, which is also really surviving. Then we have, of course, we have my Pride and Joy, which is this heavy, heavy, heavy. I actually don't even know when it's going to be ready. It just seems like it could grow a little bit more. But that is my eggplant or brinjal, um, better known in Cape Town as a Angel. This it does have a lot more um, possible baby brinjals on here and flowers about to bloom. But I don't know if, if I have enough pollinators in the garden. This I actually hand pollinated. I have been too busy to come out and hand pollinate again. Then we have another, um, this is a California green bell pepper. And on this side, this side we actually have sweet melon, but as everybody knows, it's not the sweet melon season. I just, for the randomness of it, planted it, and see here, it's not season time. So this was, it's a little baby sweet melon, but, ah, it didn't, it's not, it's just rotting away. I need to actually just take it out there. And in this is a sugar bean. Ah, here's one. Here's a sugar bean um, here as well. This was just from a sugar bean <laughs> that I put in here. So those are sugar beans. And then these are some more bell pepper plants. And that's another eggplant, which is, I think it's just getting too cold. It was first too hot and then all of a sudden it's cold. My strawberry plants. Here's another one down here. And that's doing quite well considering the fluctuations in weather and then these are just some ornamentals here actually yeah I have I need to stake this I think it's just falling over um, also another pepper plant and then I have some paprika and some bishop's crown there as well as Jalapeno, I have plenty of jalapenos, some more pepper plants and chili plants, um, and then some ornamentals, and in here, this, we actually cleared this patch, this is some, um, this is some garlic, That's not big as garlic. I mean, this was just this bed was cleared. We just sprinkled some seeds just to um, cover the soil. But this is nothing happening here. And that is basically it for now. So I hope you enjoyed this garden tour. Oh, yeah, we have some more okra. Also not doing great at all. This is Nabila's. This is a test. This is closer as I gave with some lentil seeds. I said, well, let's see if we can grow it. It actually did grow. Oh, this is Nabila's mango tree. She's waiting for the sixth leaf, for it to go past the sixth leaf, because apparently it is said, she also grew it from seed. It's um, a seed that after, Usually they grow fine up until the sixth leaf and then they start giving problems. So she's anxiously waiting for it to go beyond the sixth leaf stage. And then of course we have be, that is fig trees and and things, millies. These are all just you know test just a test garden. Um I can't wait for our actual spring plantings to happen. And, um, yep. Then I also have some, I have my apricot, um, um, tree on the, uh, in a little cup, but I put it in, in where I have a polycarb, um, roof. So there I have, actually let me go there. So yeah, I have, these are the, um, pepper plants, the paprikas, the jalapenos, the bell, and um, 
bishop's crown and all these peppers that we transplanted with the kids about two weeks ago and look how big they are so they are doing well as well and then these are also these are look how big these are these are cherry bomb peppers they are the picante sweet red chili pepper um these are just and it's jalapenos paprika cherry bombs orange habaneros and then these ones the red bell california cayenne various peppers and then this is this is i took this out it was getting scalded in the sun and then the sudden cold so this is the apricot that i grew from seed and these are another two apple seeds that was grown from seed this is a peach which hasn't yet shown itself this is my fig and this is my another fig this is another two apricots oh here's one coming up and that's the paprika so that's what's happening here so I will definitely be giving you an update soon again. I hope you enjoyed the, this tour of what I'm growing. And I will see you all in my next video. So from me, Haria, at South African Homesteader. Until our next video, may Allah bless you.